Hello Burroughs, welcome back to Burrow News. I'm Alex Wilcher. And I'm Sinead Berenstain. Today is on November 7th and it's an A-Day. What are you looking forward to today? Lunch, finally a break. Yeah, there's a lot of things you could do. Personally, I like to go outside. I'm sure some of you are wondering if you go to Flexfield. Here's Carter Townsend and Corey Harris with an update. Thank you, Alex and Sine, for that. Let's cut to some people that have been playing on the flex field. I think the flex field being shut down is kind of weird and it's kind of like defeats the purpose because the flex field is for everybody. I don't think it should be shut down. I think we should be able to get all our violent tendencies out on the flex field because, you know, if you notice, we haven't had that many fights here at Hillsboro. That's because people have been able to, you know, tackle and rough each other up, you know, for fun, of course, for entertainment purposes. You know, we're kids, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're supposed to do what we want to do. We're supposed to have fun. We're supposed to be able to, like, rough each other up. We're supposed to break each other's legs. Um, we had some things that happened that we felt was kind of setting a bad tone for the behavior and expectations of the field, so that's why it was closed. Dr. Pelham's plan was to close it for the week, so hopefully we'll open it back up maybe next week, um, but it still will be on a, on a behavior basis. If it continues, we'll shut it back down again. Congratulations, marching band, on a great season. The Hillsboro Marching Band performed at their final competition last Saturday, October 29th at Bethel University. The wind section tied for second out of 20 bands, and the percussion section was fourth out of 20. This was Hillsboro's first year with a marching band in three years, with only a few seniors to help teach the otherwise entirely new band. Under the guidance of Keeley Rogers, the marching band was able to reach levels surprising for a first year band, and next year will be even better. I can't wait for next year. And on that note, here's Sully O'Neill with Question of the Week. All right, for the question of the week, guys, we have who has the better characters, DC or Marvel? I think DC more. I, think, I feel like it's more fun. Like, I really like, you know, Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy. It's just, you know, it, it's, it's tough. You know? I feel like Marvel has the better characters, but DC has the better movies. Okay, okay. <laughs> anybody, else, anybody else have a different answer? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Marvel all the way. In terms of, like, the movies, Marvel's better. But in terms of the superheroes, DC is better. Marvel, they got uh, Spider-Man. Spider-Man, is, is that all they need? Yeah, yeah Spider-Man, right. I really like Marvel because of the Spider-Man movies. Personally, I prefer DC. Well, I think we could both agree. We want to know what's going on in sports. Hey, Nick, what's new? So after a very tough loss against Wilson Central on our senior night, we lost 45 to 14. Sheesh. Uh, we went 1-9 this season for our Hillsboro Burroughs boys football team and I decided to talk to the head coach Anthony Brown to see what they plan on doing next year and how they're going to decide to get better. My biggest takeaway is one, we have to stay you know, injury free. Um, to really be successful in the game of football, you have to stay away from the injury bug. And we were bit kind of bad by it. Um, leadership, another thing. Um, our rising seniors who are currently juniors, I think they're going to do a solid job of leading us next year. And um, we're looking forward to their ability showing out. We're definitely going to be really focusing in on culture and the way we go about doing particular things, such as with leadership. Um, my staff's going to be doing some professional developments um, during this off season so we can become better coaches. We're going to continue to be self-reflective in our approaches so we can reach all of our young men so we can be successful. Now for announcements. Tomorrow, November 8th, school is off for voting. Seniors, remember to vote at your nearest library. We also have this Friday off for Veterans Day, making it a three-day week. Thank, Thank you, you for, for your, your service. service. And now for the lunch menu. For lunch on Monday, our entree options are a hamburger, PB&J sandwich, or a chef salad. On Wednesday, you can choose from soft tacos, bean and cheese burrito, PB&J sandwich, or chef salad. And lastly, on Thursday, we have a baked spaghetti, or you could have a salad or a PB&J sandwich. That's all for today. Thanks for watching Bro News. See you all next week.